Well, it'd be like being a bird, flying, free and happy, wind blowing in your face, joy in your heart. No more pain and money. Oh, no kid. No more pain. Hi, Capricorn. All right, welcome to this place. Thank you for showing up. Um, it's a pleasure to connect. So happy airy season or whenever you arrive. Um, I hope... Uh, I'm going back to the beginning of the year. So we've made it one quarter, right? Through the year. Pretty exciting. Spring is always a very exciting time. I'm sure you're enjoying all the little things starting to pop up and growing the star yes please um so we already recorded a reading so i'm going to touch on it but i just felt like you know sometimes we get to go over things like once and kind of get it out and that just helps us to understand more of what's happening and then we can kind of fine tune and really get to the point if you will um <clears throat> i feel like this is a good time for you could definitely be feeling pretty strong. I would say you someone's definitely not putting up with any BS or anyone's like negative attitude. Um, so I guess if there's been a buildup of anything where things haven't been said or processed, then there could be things that bubble up in this time that like just have to be addressed, I guess. <laughs> But it reminds me, and this song keeps coming. Do you know the song? It's just like, I smell candy. Wait, I smell sex and candy. Yeah. Who's that lounging in my chair? And then he talks about, like, who's, who's, uh, something about, like, someone staring at him with, like, a devious stare. And then he's just like, this surely must be a dream. You know, so that place where you're afraid that someone's going to take your position that's maybe it's just a dream maybe it's maybe it's just a false illusion right if if you feel like someone's grilling you or and even if that was i heard even if that was true like someone's trying to project some negative or jealousy or whatever at you surely this is a dream it, it's just like i heard I, I don't have to like that that can't stick to me um, that I heard that negativity can't stick to me because I am ice cream. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> uh, and you actually received. I was waiting. I <laughs> I thought it would be nice to add to my uh, arsenal, if you will, and I got the spiritual AF deck. Um, although it does cuss a lot in this deck, and I generally don't care to cuss because they are curse words. I mean, sometimes I'm a sailor, but. This one's actually really nice. It says, people aren't ignoring you, love bug. So, and, and, I, and I think this is for, this message is for you. People are not ignoring you, love bug. Maybe they're busy. If, if, do you feel like there's some space or maybe they're just doing some other things? It does not mean that the support or love is not there. Um, or I heard, or that, you know, you don't need to worry about whether you're doing a good job or not, right? We're, we're talking to the Capricorns through this space. We're pretty, uh, you know, tight-knit circle of folks, and I'm proud of your work. I'm proud of you not taking, t taking people's bullshit in, you know, and, um, and figuring out, because you also have this card, if you wouldn't say it to a friend, you shouldn't say it to yourself, And so I see this as, again, like a a self-note. But I'm also seeing this, you being this for other people, like boosting people up and, and being supportive. But I feel as if also that there's this very, how do I explain it? Like there's, a, there's a, an awareness and integrity around 
I'm going to give to that which gives to me. And maybe you just want to practice that this month. I heard it, it this is not, um, we're not speaking selfishly here by giving where the energy, at least give first where the energy is reciprocal, where you know that it is, you know, man, this person's been doing a lot for me. This energy has been very supportive of me. I'm going to give back to that. Um, and if you get a little extra to spare, then spread it around, you know, but don't, I heard, don't forget to water your own garden. Um, the, your sun sign and your fifth house are also highlighted. And I also saw Libra energy. They spoke of the fifth house as well, but Mercury, uh, in addition, Mercury. So if we combine these two, let's talk about this before we jump in your tarot cards. Um, the sun and the fifth house. The sun is very comfortable here, so there's some kind of comfortability this month. This is also very creative. It could be fun, fun things that you're doing with your friends. It could be going on fun dates, um, like some kind of amusement, out, amusing oneself and with other people, most likely outside. Uh, there could also be some animals that bring a lot of joy to you in this time. Okay, I just want to read this specifically. This is from, we love, well, I love Robert Hand. I can't speak for you, but I can speak for myself. Robert Hand, Planets in Transit, Life Cycles for Living. It's from the Para Research, uh, excuse me. Para research uh, that series is amazing so let's just read this straight out of the book it says according to, tra to tradition the sun is happy happiest in the fifth house where I feel giddy <laughs> that I'm stumbling over my words with the sun here you feel most free to express yourself and to be yourself one's primary drive is to do what one wants and as much and as much as possible, especially set to whatever a person determines are their priorities, right? Um, this also expresses that a person is not especially interested in dominating others, although one could be capable of that at this time, like very powerful in influencing. That could still happen in a positive way way but it's not to get anything of course out of it if anyone also is being dominating to you or restraining in any way and this could even just be like energy vampires right then you are also capable of i heard blasting your your sun energy from your body to to basically blind that which is trying to uh i heard attack you interesting Because even though, again, one is not especially interested in dominating others, again, trying to control anybody else, one, with the son and the fifth, one, he says that one will vigorously oppose anyone, I guess is what we just said, will vigorously oppose anyone who tries to prevent you from doing what you want to do. So someone feels strong about it. Um, and having a good time is part of the plan for April. Okay, so maybe you want to plan yourself a good time. Go to that show. Uh, definitely get out in the sunshine. Um, you know, and you could even be thinking about summer. Like, man, what would you like to do that would be fun? Like, say it is an outdoor activity. I just saw someone, like, on a kayak on a lake or something like that. It's like, what What are you looking forward to? You want to go camping? Like, do you want to go to that music festival like what's what's interesting what seems like a fun journey for you in the future too uh your children could also be highlighted if you have them or children in your life in general um i see a lot of light and love around there um but you're a person's emotional involvement with children or with your um creative projects, your, whoever you're dating, there's a lot of emotional 
involvement in there. But what's beautiful with the sun is I feel like this is positive. And the example that came in your other reading, um, and this is where we got kind of like, Ch -ch -ch -ch, I ain't having it, <laughs> like real, really strong. But it was also draining on our own energy, right? Because there was this card earlier. Let me back up. The example before was where there was a group of people and everybody was having a good old time. Sun in the fifth house, right? This is fun. We're all we're all having we're all at this barbecue having a good time, and then somebody comes into the barbecue like all pissy, you know, or like just trying to spread their their heaviness and their junk around, and somebody just wasn't having it, you know, like someone isn't allowing. Someone's finally coming to a point of not allowing. Again, like the negativity or the unchecked emotion through other people, like onto them. You know, it's, it's, although they do understand that, that it, it does affect it. You know, even if there was 99.9% .9 positive, if one person, shitty person, comes in screaming and throwing a fit and being dramatic, it does affect the party at least for a little bit, right? You can think of your body as a party. <laughs> what kind of party's going on there, right? <laughs> So, so relationships towards our, our attitudes towards relationships are actually a lot lighter in this time. Um, and you're, a person's going to be drawn to the positive anyway. It, it's just, it's just easy. And I would say, if you have any creative, whatever your creative expression is, however, however you do that in the physical world, please do because. It feels like maybe you want to make a list. Like, what's fun, right? Like, what's fun to you? What what light what lightens up your inner child? What did you used to do when you were a kid, too, artistically? Or what did you draw? You know, there's always like those crayon drawings. Like, what did you? What do you remember drawing when you were a little kid? Or like coloring in. And try to picture yourself outside playing, right? So maybe games or something, right, children? Well, at least back in the day, quote, unquote. Um, kids used to go out and be like, go play. And then the kids would all be outside with no adult supervision telling them what to think or what to do or how to do it. And they had to figure it out for themselves how to have the time pass by. And a lot of times, from what I can remember, we used to just make up games. Right, we make up our own rules and we come up with the name of the game and and what you're supposed to do with that and that is for that time. Hmm. If you do happen to, because we're in the sun, so the moon's gonna aspect it some way, somehow. Um I feel like all earth energy can be a little hard on itself, um, mentally speaking, I guess. You're tough on yourself, right? Um, but I feel like what, how you get tough on yourself, you probably are very supportive to others if you were, if another was you. Try to talk to yourself the way you would talk to other people in your supportive, loving way. Okay, it it may just, did you see how like the tone of her voice, the, the pace of things, um, the energy behind it, it, now we have King of Swords in the, in the, the card of peace in her mind. That, that'll take whatever, if, if something does come up that feels discordant, um, or flat, it will, I feel like it'll soften it or it'll warm it up sort of get the it'll grease the gears so to speak let's actually um, I want to share with you the moon your opposite sign cancer is the moon right your mirror is always you're, you're always looking in the mirror of the moon um, 
So through April, the moon is in your sign the second and the third. If you happen to catch it that early, uh, as well as the 29th and the 30th. Um, the middle of the month could be a little emotional, 14, 15, 16. Um, well, I guess we have a new moon, the beginning of the month, so we have a full moon. Um, in the middle of the month. So that full moon could be a little bit... I guess it depends. It could feel very, I heard, very touching and comfortable. But if it happens to feel uncomfortable, just remember that the moon can cause illusions, right? It's harder to see at nighttime. We don't have night vision, right? So if things all of a sudden feel confusing or you don't know where emotions are coming from, then... Well, I heard for some of you, it just may be the time of the month, right? Some, something in ways of our uh, emotional cycles. <clears throat> Let's choose some new cards. Oh, interesting. This one just stayed on the board. And it says, The wound is the place where the light enters you. Let's see Capricorn. What do we got? Ace of Swords, Six of Swords, wow. What am I seeing here? Oh, someone's a good knife throw. Someone's good at throwing knives. Someone's hitting the target. They've been practicing. It, take, it takes a lot. Maybe someone's an archer. It's someone now is, or plays darts. Something where it's like this kind of energy, like right in the middle. Bullseye, bullseye, bullseye. It's, but it's not luck. It's not luck. It's it's because a person has put a lot of time and energy into something. They've practiced a lot. Um, and I would say with this kind of practice, a person is also coming to a new stage about it. And I heard someone say, all right, where do we go from here? Well, I guess you'll find out when you get there. I heard, remember, other people can save themselves. Or someone's reminding themselves of that. Like, look, they can save, they can save themselves. Moon. Mm-hmm. This could have to do with children, family, for some of you very significantly. Like, one of those responsibility kind of things. But it's like, dude, I heard, dude, they can take care of themselves. Especially when it comes, unless you have very little ones, like an infant. If we're talking about like grown children, they are fine. I heard they are fine. Take that weight off your back. Yep, six of wands. I heard you did a good job. Because you know what the thing is, is even if a parent doesn't do a good job, kids still generally can, t a kid can definitely still turn, a kid can turn out awesome. You know, speaking from someone who's had a, I could, could if I want to actually admit it, tough life, right? Sometimes. I think I did a pretty good job raising myself. You know, like, it's fine. It's fine. You never know how far someone can go when we allow them, when we allow to see what a person could do for themselves. You know? And congratulations wherever you've done that also. Good job.
just a minute. That first week. So the first week and the third week. Well, I heard allow things to just kind of be. Um, what time have you been going to bed also? Like how much sleep have you been getting? Uh, some of you it could be beneficial to move your bed or if you can like change the room or um, and I'm seeing where someone well I guess I'm seeing where someone changes a room a space into another space uh, I'm seeing a few specific examples take it as you may like for instance say you you have your kids bedroom but like it was your kid's bedroom and now it's like your sewing room or now it's the spare room or now it's your painting room. It's um, someone's turning a room into the house into something else because whatever it was, it could stay that way, but it's not going to have as much of a flow of energy. So the more we're, the more we are present within something, I guess the more it becomes creative and then I saw the word opportunistic uh, if you do happen to get into that space where um, you feel like you're, you you can tell that your feelings are sort of lying to you like it's it gets a little confusing I don't know if you journal but that could be very helpful maybe you could also make art Again, even if you're not good at it, you could get a coloring book. Who doesn't love the color? Um, however you do it, but that could also be a way or a good time to write, to create, etc. If you happen to get into um, uh, an in-between place. Okay. Hmm. Knight of Wands. Or where are we going? How do we get there? The Lovers. Well, I guess how we get there is by going. Um... We have to be some, we have to be moving. I guess we have to be walking, a person has to be walking their own path. And then they come across uh, other people. And, and that which can last. the sun awesome so we have the moon and the sun oh oh i see there's also an eclipse the beginning that first week of april the first week of april and i saw someone being very conscientious like i'm gonna take my own space in this time hierophant the star yeah and um Because what did we say? Where are we going? When are, when will we be there? We. Um, there definitely could be more passion around romantic energy. Especially, okay, say you've been single, Capricorn. 
I know we're talking to a few different folks on the path, the way we are on the path, but if you've been single, I want, I heard, I want you to believe how awesome of a partner you are, or like, again, even, even friends, like talking, hanging out, all that, it, you, I heard you are a pleasure, you're so fun, <laughs> when, when you let your guard down, you know, um, just kind of, I heard, just kind of accept yourself the way that you are. Someone could definitely ask you out on a date, or I see going out on a date would be really good. This could even be a friend date, whatever, but it's it's going out again, I guess, and emphasizing having this good time. Maybe we've gone all the way around. Magician. Yeah, I suppose we've said what we've needed to say. Loving is its own reward. All right. I love you, Capricorn. And I, I do hope you have the happiest now. Thank you for your support and love here, your participation. Um, however you do that, you know, here over on Patreon, too, there's a lot of cool new folks over there. Um, yeah, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure and I do hope that your birthday time as we go along has been feeling good and steadied and um, Capricorn does round a corner technically every year in April um, so there's a little bit of a slowdown but you're then you get to why well, saw someone where they were a little bit in the shadow and then they turn and it's so bright yeah so I heard don't worry um, and then I saw someone in bed getting tucked in. It's like night, night. So take care of yourself that way too. Pretty please. All right. I will talk to you next time. Thank you for being a friend. Peace out.